Champion61 asked, How did you start out your comic career and do you make any income off your comics? So I started making web comics back in 2012. Uh, Bones and I launched our first webcomic, Sovereign. I think August 2012 is when we launched it, though we started working on it, like, well before then. Right, so we made our site for it, where we posted all our pages. Um, we also posted on, like, mirror sites. Uh, I think Smack to Use was a big one. I can't remember the other ones. Uh, and then for social media, we mostly used, like, Tumblr. We also posted on a bunch of, like, listing sites. So yeah, with Sovereign, we didn't gain very much traction early on. We definitely had some like really sweet, amazing, dedicated readers. But yeah, but we didn't, we didn't make any money off our comic. Uh, we didn't get a huge readership for it. So like, we made a lot of mistakes with our first comic. For one, we did a full color comic uh, when we had no following. And I did the pages really low res because I didn't know what I was doing. So they were super, super low res, which means it would have been nearly impossible to print them. And over the years we have like thought about printing Sovereign, but we probably won't just because like I'd have to redo those early pages so that they'd actually be print quality. Also, I had no idea what CMYK was back then. So yeah, we made a lot of mistakes with Sovereign. It also had like a messy story and like, you know, my crappy early art, but it still holds a place in my heart. <laughs> um, and I think the really important thing about starting Sovereign when we did was like making friends with other artists in the community and like getting out there and interacting with people and networking. Oh, to clarify when I said it would be hard to print in color, I just mean it's pricier. Printing in color is more expensive than printing in black and white. So when we started our second comic in 2013, Pretty Mouth, we considered, we thought about making a profit a lot more going into it than we did with Sovereign. So like we decided to print it in black and white. One was like due to time constraints, like we wanted to do a second comic, um, but I didn't always have time to like work on another color comic because at the time I was still working on uh, Sovereign. So time constraints were one consideration. The other one was the cost of printing. We wanted a book we could easily print and sell at conventions. So what we used was a print-on-demand site called Lulu. Uh, it's really great because they do all the printing and distributing as people order them. You don't have to do like a big run of books. Um, and then reprint once you run out of those, which helps because we didn't have a huge following when we first started it, and we f when we first started printing books. We didn't really look into Kickstarter. I don't know if it was big back then. I'd have to look back and find out. But anyways, so we wanted a site that was easy to print. Um, it could distribute to the US really easily. So Bones and I are Canadian, so it's really pricey to ship outside of Canada. So having a store that is in the United States helps a lot with like shipping to our core audience. So yeah, so we got our books printed through Lulu. Um, we ordered a bunch of them and we went to a bunch of cons to sell our books. So conventions are generally how we make the most money off of our comics. Um, we usually aim to pay for all our convention costs, so like printing costs of like the books. Um, and other stuff we're selling, plus like the table and hotel costs. So that's usually our goal. So we usually make back the table at least. Uh, sometimes we make a little bit of a profit. Um, it's not like a net profit, because I think we put way more money and time. I don't think, I know we put more money and time into our comics than we make back. But yeah, but conventions are definitely how we make the most money. We've also set up a Patreon for our web comics. Patreon's great because it lets people like show their interest in your work. My one piece of advice is don't go crazy with like setting up rewards. Um, you can if you're able, but Bones and I, we really wanted to focus on just making the comic. People can support us if they want. So we usually have a very low barrier to entry. Like, you know, you pay, I don't remember what it is. It's like five bucks or something or less to get a monthly comic issue of the Magpie. Um, so yeah, it's a great place to put your, put out like an issue every month or to post your comic pages early and people can support you if they want to. But yeah, Patreon, good place. And I'll be honest, like I said before, we really don't make much off of our comics. <laughs> we make like pennies off our comics right now. Um, so far we make enough to like support making the comics, but we don't make enough to like have a living off of it, which is fine. I, like, I'm happy to work my day job. We do other work on the side. That isn't to say, like, 
don't be disheartened by this stuff. Because just because, like, Bones and I have been at this setup for a while, and we're not making, like, a whole bunch of money, that doesn't mean it's not worth what we've done. Like, who knows? If you try, you could be way more successful than us. You could make some money, and that's good. All I'm saying is you shouldn't be discouraged just because it is hard to make money in this industry. You never know. You could hit it big. You don't know unless you try. What really helped with the struggle of, like, making a living off our work is that Bones and I went into it with the mindset of, like, even if we don't make any money off our webcomics ever, we're still gonna do it because we love it and we want to do it. So, that might help those months where you're starting out and no one's reading your comic and everything's horrible and you're not making any money. Just remember, you're doing it because you love it and that's worth it. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions or if you'd like to request a video topic, please leave a comment down below. I'll be answering all the art questions and Bones will answer all the writing questions. Cool. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!